Final Sharon Cup in Parma something Castavilla and Newbridge and Castavilla injury already with John Farley in goal after a clash with number eleven Cahal Walsh of Newbridge. John seems to be okay. Pick himself up. Quick run to the teams. Newbridge Town in goal Paul Dempsey. Number two Joe Dwan. Number three Noel McHugh. Number four Phil Dwan. Number five Michael Walsh captain. Number six Declan Conlon. Number seven is Don Ney. Number eight is Phil Delaney. Nine Kieran O'Neill. Ten Brendan Dwan. Brendan on the ball now going down the right. Tackled by Buddy Bog on wide. Number 11 is Cahill Walsh, and the substitutes are Noel Moran and Kevin Bergen. Kevin back after injury. Dick Kaplis off the left to Eamon Farrell. Eamon faced by Joe Dwan, beaten. That was Brendan Dwan, number 10. On to Kieran O'Neill. <coughs> Kieran holds it, pulls it back, puts it to the middle. Brendan Dwan, Buddy Abbott tackle in and cleared. Out of Paul O'Garman. Paul Richard Hickey. Richard to Eamon. Eamon. Ball taken away by Cahill Walsh. Martin Farrell. Long ball to the middle for Kevin Farrell. But it's Paul Dempsey's all the way. Gives it to Michael Walsh and back, takes it back. Dempsey telling his men to cool it as he prepares a long one. Coming down, Martin calls it and wins it. Eamon Farrell. Dropping down to Kevin. Challenged by Noly McHugh and beaten. It was Kieran O'Neill. Too far for Dickie Conlon. A. Crosses intercepted by Dick Kaplis. This is Phil Delaney. Ball gone wide. Phil Delaney. Four years now with Newbridge, CYM and Drogheda in League of Ireland. Sorry, corner. That deflects from the cap is the corner. Phil Delaney crosses it. Cleared by Martin Farrell. Now to Eamon. Eamon hits it up the line. To Kevin. Ball out. Side. Dick Kaplis wins it. Should be Richard Hickey's ball. Up to Kevin Farrell. Kevin faced by Joe Dwan, crosses it. Phil Dwan clears it, just far to Don Ney. Don chimes by Kevin Farrell, hits it back towards Michael Walsh, his captain. Kevin has it. A corner, deflection off Walsh.
Plymouth Pearl will take this corner. His conditions deteriorate rapidly. Big men are all in there. Martin Farrell, Shum Whelan, Paul Kelly. Heyman hits it across, coming towards Shum Whelan. Beaten by Nolly McHugh. Buddy Abbott goes to this one. Tied up by Speedy Burn. Up to the right, they're onside. Richard Hickey, run wide, pass from him. Uh, sorry, another corner. And Richard Hickey to take this one. Good ball, well won by Mike Walsh. Taking out defence now by Noli, Noli McHugh down to Brendan Dwan. Brendan challenged by Buddy Abbott. And Dick Capitalist comes in to dispossess and knock out. Put the ball to his intercepted. Last by Martin Farber. Shum Whelan cleans up. Or to Richard Hickey. Hickey with a bit of space on the left. Faced by Conlon. Puts it into Dick Capitalist. Dick loses over against residence. Richard Hickey. Noli McHugh cleans up on the left. Down to Cahill Walsh. Paul Kelly wins this, taken up by Richard Hickey, on for him and Farrell. Skinner Walsh, long clearance, racing Buddy Abbott and Brendan Dwan, ball is Paul Kelly, Paul heads it on, Dick Hapless, Dick loses possession in Ollie, McHugh, good ball, on to Brendan Dwan, tackled by Sean Wheel, very good tackle. The danger there, Castleville, Brendan Dwan, Brendan Dwan, Deadly marksman. Go and Whelan brings it out, Richard Hickey. Go on, Pushes up to Eamon Farrell. Go on, Eamon, run him! Tries to get around Joe Dwan. Joe knocks it over the sideline. Come on, Take him on. Richard Hickey throw. Won by Joe Dwan. Declan Conlon, foot up. And Buddy Allen. Support. Now he finds Richard Hickey, with a bit of space. Richard spots Eamon Farrell on the left. Farrell faced by Dwan. As back cuts back into the middle, gives to Richard Hickey. Change of direction. Richard to Buddy Abbott. Buddy Abbott. Dispossessed by Carl Walsh, that was number 11. It's Carl Walsh on the ball again. Taken out of it by Martin Farrell. No doubt about that, free. Brings it through the middle, Paul. Looking for Kevin Farrell. Intercepted by Skinner Walsh. Paul Kelly wins it back, Dick Hapless. Bad ball from Dick Hapless, intercepted by Phil Delaney. Shum clears it. Well won by Paul O'Gorman. Dick Hapless again. Eamon Farrell on the ball. Eamon gives it to Richard Hickey. Richard goes on the left, faced by Joe Dwan. Eamon is looking for the ball inside him. Says the ball block. Oh. Martin Farrell, low kick out, up towards Paul O'Gorman. Paul controls as well. It's across to Dick Kaplis. Dick Dummies. Beaten by Kieran O'Neill. Carl Rice, Richard Hickey. Running through the middle. Running into. Group of ball only goes as far as Nolly. McHugh. McHugh to Phil Delaney. Delaney, long ball through the middle. Finds Dwan. Buddy Abbott clears it. As far as Paul Kelly. Paul heads it over to Dick Kaplis. Too far away from him. Taken by Carl Walsh. Buddy Abbott, Priest, Brendan Dwan, Dick Hapless. Richard Hickey flicks it on back to Dick Hapless. Dick wins it and gets his throw off Phil Delaney. Eamon Farrell, throw in to Richard Hickey. Richard holds it well. Challenged by George Dwan, Priest goes off the challenge. Challenged by two men and fouled. Well, it's a diagonal breeze is definitely favouring Newbridge in the first half. Bitterly cold wind blowing down Palmerston. Kevin Farrell and Richard Hickey over the bar for this free kick. Shum Whelan, Martin Farrell, Martin going for this ball. 
the clash with Norley McHugh. But start of the second half, nil all, semi-final Sheeran Cup, Newbridge in Castle Villa. The elements will be slightly favoring Villa in the second half. Diagonal breeze down the pitch. That sun also could present difficulties to the Newbridge keeper. Corner by Walsh. Go doing a cross. And in. All the way in. Goal by Connor Walsh in the first minute of the second half for Newbridge. Great start in the second half for Newbridge. Son also could present difficulties to the Newbridge keeper. Corner by Walsh. Go doing a cross. And in. All the way in. Goal by Connor Walsh in the first minute of the second half for Newbridge. Temsley kicks out, dropping short of the halfway line. Paul Kelly again wins the ball in the air. And Paul Kelly again wins it. Mick Walsh heads on. Paul Kelly flicks it backwards. Sean Whelan coming on to it. Hits it wide to Richard Hickey. Richard gives it to Speedy Byrne. Speedy goes out, falls, trips over the ball and seems to damage his ankle in the process. Speedy stood in the ball that time. Looks like ankle problem. Paddy Farrell warms up on the sideline. having to come off what looks like a nasty ankle injury. Unfortunately, there as he went for the ball, he either stood in the ball or it just went over on the ground. Been helped off by chairman Peter Holloway. Waiting for the war to go on. Still having decided whether Speedy can play on or not. Chase between Shum Whelan and Brendan Dwan. Shum wins it. Down the line, Richard Hickey. Richard, long ball through the middle. To Eamon Farrell. Eamon tries to get Paul O'Gorman. Rolly McHugh intercepts. And McHugh again on the ball. Hits the ball through. Come to Shum Whelan. Shum beats McHugh. It's new are standing players on left full. And Sweeney is going to go back on. On he goes. Limping on the leg, but got a chance of a few minutes to see how it goes. Rich Dickey with a throw in on the Martin Farrell. Martin wins it. Far as Dickey Conlon. Sean Wheel and Buddy Abbott get out to Richard Hickey. Richard long one down the line looking for Kevin Farrell. Kevin Farrell beaten by Mike Walsh. Both of them hit the ground that time. And Walsh stays down. Paul Kelly hits it on. Emma Farrell beaten by George Wan and a run up the left face by Buddy Abbott. Free kick. Free kick, Buddy the judge to have taken down George Wan. Free kick up on the right of the Castle Villa penalty area, very dangerous position. And looks like Speedy has lost his battle. Stay on. Paddy now after replacing Speedy Byrne. Paddy scored the first goal last week in the quarter final of the Dowdock up against Annie United in Brickfield. On the attack and have a free kick from a very dangerous position just on the right of the Castleville penalty area. Free kicks to be taken by Kieran O'Neill. Faced by Buddy Abbott and Eamon Farrell in the wall. Declan Conlon waiting at the back with his hands up. O'Neill. Low and hard across. Flicked on. Hit by Conlon but it comes out. Paddy Farrell. Hand by Martin Farrell moving up for this corner. Conlon will be taken by Richard Hickey. Oh, 
corner comes across from Richard Hickey. It's a good one, right into the six yard area. Under the bar, fisted out by Dempsey. He's judged to be fouled. And Paula Graham, it is, Castellano looks to be down injured in the, <coughs> right in the goal area. Paul Garman gingerly heads back out to the centre of the field. Joe Dwan kicks out for Newbridge. Flicked on by Declan Conlon. The Conlon free kick this for Castle Villa. Just about a couple of yards outside the penalty area. And the ideal position for Martin Farrell's left foot. Direct free kick. Martin Farrell. Yes! No, that's a goal! Kevin Farrell! Great free kick from Martin Farrell. Very well saved by Dempsey. You can only block it out as far as Kevin Farrell. Who blasted in the rebound. And it's one all. Direct free kick. Martin Farrell. Yes! No, that's a goal! Kevin Farrell! Great free kick from Martin Farrell. Very well saved by Dempsey. We can only block it out as far as Kevin Farrell. Who blasted in the rebound. And it's one all. 20 minutes into the second half. And Villa are back on terms. And Kevin Farrell is there to blast at home. Walsh throws it to Don Ney, heads it back to Walsh, it's across the middle, Shum Whelan with Brendan Dwan, kicks over his head, Shum Whelan clears it, to Richard Hickey, Richard Hickey down the line to Kevin Farrell, Kevin with a bit of space, faced by Phil Dwan, keeps the ball in play. Don Ney takes from Nolly McHugh, takes it across to Phil Dwan. Phil to the middle, taken by Paul Kelly. Paul to Richard Hickey. Richard beats two men. He's taken by Dwan. He almost has it. Phil Dwan in possession. Beats Paul O'Gorman. Comes back to the middle, faced by Martin Farrell. Here's the ball through. Does he have it? It's Martin Farrell. Martin flicks it through with the left foot. Looking for Kevin Farrell. He wins it. Paul Kelly has it near the penalty area. He coming through with a shot. Save a defeat by Dempsey. That's a Nolly McHugh. Group is at six and seven to the back at the moment. McHugh looking for a knee. Back to McHugh again. Richard Hick. Hick beaten by Brendan Dwan. Dwan tidies up. Hits a long ball. Through the car. Dwan knee knocks it in again. Never tried to fill it. Kevin Farrell. Flicks it on for Richard Hickey. Wally McHugh. Puts it out. Decap is a quick one down to Paddy Farrell. Beats Phil Dwan. Puts the ball across. But Dwan gets back to block. Knocks it off Declan Conlon out for a throw. Declan Conlon out to Don Ney. Ney tackled by Sean Whelan and Paul Kelly. Paddy Farrell now in position on the left with a bit of space. Hits the ball through to Kevin Farrell. Farrell is faced by Phil Dwan. And wins his corner. Ball out off Phil Dwan. Phil now piling on the pressure. <laughs> Richard Hickey again to take this corner from the left. <laughs> Clips this one in, good corner. Paul Kelly in, it's a goal! Brilliant header by Paul Kelly, beat the keeper. And Villa go 2-1 up, 30 minutes into the second half. Great in swing and corner from Richard Hickey, was met beautifully. Good ahead by Paul Kelly. I give Dempsey no chance. 2 1 for Villa. Richard Hickey again to take this corner from the left. Clips this one in. Good corner. Paul Kelly in. It's a goal. Brilliant header by Paul Kelly. Beat the keeper. And Villa go 2 1 up. 30 minutes into the second half. 
Great in three and corner from Richard Hickey. He was met beautifully. Good in now, piling on the pressure. Good corner dropping in the six yard area. Martin Farr clears it. Clears it down to the halfway line. First picked up by Phil Dwan. Phil hits the ball, so it was intercepted by Paul Gorman. Kevin Farrell in possession. Puts it to Richard Hickey. Richard is heading down towards the penalty area. Chased by Phil Dwan. Looking for support from the middle. Hits it across. He gets it. Paul Gorman. Diving header just goes very wide. Good attack by Villa. Good break there. The cut. Newbridge scares it. It's Kieran O'Neill. Liam Farrell in the race. Where O'Neill wins it. Up to Noli McHugh. Noli McHugh tackled and fouled from behind by Richard Hickey. Take it easy, this is referee Carl. Trying to cool things down. McHugh with the free kick. Up, coming down. Paul Kelly calls for it and wins it once again. Thinking about throwing out to McHugh. Instead, instructs his players to get up, but he tries a long one, but dropping in the halfway line, caught in the breeze. Won by Paul O'Garman. Back to Nolan McHugh. Nolan McHugh heads it on to Skitter, or the Declan. Declan Conlon. Paul O'Garman. Richard Hickey. On to Kevin Farrell. Great to Richard Hickey. But Dempsey gets there first. Throws it out to Skinner Walsh. Walsh on the left outside his own penalty. Faced by Kevin Farrell. Up the right to Nolan McHugh. McHugh faced and beaten by Paul O'Garman. Now Kevin Farrell listens across the middle to Richard Hickey. In front of goal. He must score. He's he didn't. Oh, how did he miss it? He was checked that time by the goalkeeper. Dempsey did well. Beaten by Paul O'Garman. Now Kevin Farrell listens across the middle to Richard Hickey. In front of goal. He must score. He's he didn't. Oh, how did he miss it? He was checked that time by the goalkeeper. Dempsey did well. I think the penalty area. O'Neill to throw in. We're now in injury time. We're in the one minute of injury time. Castle Villa spectators are on their feet here at the dugout. Looking for the first victory over Newbridge since the joint Premier Division. And there, full time whistle. And Villa are in the final of the Sheeran Cup. Great recovery in the second half after Newbridge got had one up in the first minute. Big Taylor's out to congratulate their team. semi-finals between Selbridge and St. Cross in Newbridge and the winners play Castle Villa in Daly Brown Park. Villa are back in Daly Brown Park again. Goodbye from Paris and from a very cold cameraman John Donahue and myself Tommy O'Connell. Bye bye.